So I'm in one of our kings and queens plants and things grow rooms. And if you remember last week, I showed you a few ways to dry your herbs. Well, this week we are bagging up our weed. Don't worry, I'm not talking about marijuana. So any law enforcement or block people that want to run up in here thinking they're going to get some marijuana, it's not going to happen. It's illegal where I live. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with growing marijuana other than the fact that it is against the law where I live. I think that any herb yielding seed is good. Anyway, this is the season of giving. And to indigenous people, the season of giving is year round. Now, I know a lot of people don't care. And many of us have simply forgotten the ways of our ancestors. And I'm not a party pooper, but uh, my job is to remind you of what you have forgotten, as I remember. Anyway, I have a lot of people that have asked me, or a list of people that have asked me for this mint. Okay, remember, it's not marijuana, it's mint. They know that I grow my food organically. I don't use pesticides, herbicides, uh, chemical fertilizers, or any of the like. So, in this season of giving, again, which is year-round for indigenous people, I am giving a gift that's not going to break the bank. In fact, what we do, the gifts that we give, are typically around a penny to about 10 cents. So this, these are about five cents to give away. Why? Because the work it took us to grow these herbs and many of the rest of our vegetables, we didn't have to pay anybody to do it because we're doing it ourselves. So that didn't cost us anything. Growing it didn't cost us anything. The only thing that cost us was the price of the baggies. And I think I got about a thousand of these bags for about $15. So literally between a penny and five cents, that's how much this is worth. Of course, it's worth much, much more than that. But when you're talking about dollars and cents, that's about it. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you that this being the recognized season of giving for many of you, you don't have to break the bank. Uh, it's been said that people go into so much debt during this time of year that by the next year, at the same time, they're still in debt from the previous year and they're just piling more debt on top of that debt. All right. Got to keep it real with you. I got to keep it absolutely 100 and share with you what's happening. Uh, I want to see you excel and succeed economically. And the only way to do that is to learn what you're doing wrong and to correct it. All right, so again, this is the season of giving, which for indigenous people is year round. This has been Daku. I hope this has been helpful. Peace.